Perfect. All right, I'm out here in Ethan's garage and we're going to test this Top Don car jump starter out. And uh, anyway, this van's been sitting here for a really long time and uh, hasn't ran. They tried to put the battery charger on it, I guess, and you know, the battery sat so long through several winters and the battery's just completely junk. You see we got our multimeter on here and it doesn't even have a volt of charge. So just to show that I'm not fooling with you here, we'll take this off, see it change. It's at millivolt now, like so small it's negligible. Put our um, contact on here. So this battery literally has no charge whatsoever. So we're gonna see if this topped on car jumper can jump this completely dead V8 vehicle. So it's gonna take some serious cranking amps. Hasn't ran for years and years. So let's see if it's got the power to do it. All right, so I got the car jump starter lines all hooked up here and they don't have any blowout protection. So if you were to touch them together, it would, uh, harm our unit here. So as you see, I first hook those to the battery and then I'm going to hook this to the charger and uh, we'll flip it off here. We'll get it hooked up and then we'll be able to see um, our voltage increase immediately and we'll be able to start the vehicle, hopefully. Apparently our on off switch doesn't control the voltage. So again, like I said, always hook up the connectors first. So anyway, we'll get this, try and do this all in one video clip. I don't have anyone to hold the camera. So try and prove that this is a straightforward job. Okay, so we don't have it quite plugged in yet. It's probably getting a little voltage across. Plug this bad boy in. One, one hand, hopefully. All right, so now we got it plugged in, 12 volts of charge. And let's jump up in this thing, make sure it's flipped to the on position. Let's jump up in this thing and see if it'll start up. I imagine Ethan told me the keys are in it. Just went through a big old cobweb. And there's no keys, so. Gotta find those. Wouldn't you know if they're right there. Okay. Everything's alive. Come on, baby. Now, there was a reason this van was parked. Something about it didn't run quite right. Fuel pump was out or something. Oh, and look at that. So if that doesn't show you that that's a decent product, I don't know what does. So uh, that's pretty amazing. All right, and just like that, we unplug our unit before we unhook our cables so we don't blow it out. As you see here, the alternator's charging the engine up, so that's pretty impressive. So I just shut the vehicle down here, and as you can see, when I turn the key over, it has absolutely no power. And as I showed on the multimeter there, the battery was completely dead. So again, this little guy is pretty darn impressive. All right, here we are in the travel van. So I only use it every once in a while and uh, I got a good 50 mile one way trip today and I gotta take my dog. So it being kind of a camper van, it works out pretty good. But anyway, I don't drive it a lot. And here we go again, dead battery. It's got this stupid clock in it. Perfect. Now this used to be really annoying because I'd have to uh, get out and jump start this deal but uh, yet another test for this, and I'm getting pretty confident in this little deal here, this Top Don car jumper, because I drive it around, it plugs in and charges itself, and uh, 
any way I can charge my phone off of it. I've, I've just, I've really come to like it. I've added it to my tools that I take when I travel. So anyway, we're gonna hop out and I guess jumpstart the old van with this thing. So without further ado, let's get after it. All right, so um, I got our leads hooked up and like I've explained before, the one caveat to this Top Don unit is it doesn't have any blowout protection, but if you're smart, hook your leads up first. Before you hook anything up, you shouldn't uh, touch your cables together. There we go. Like I mentioned before, uh, that blowout protection is non existent, so we're just going to unplug the cables first so we can't cross them up and then take them off. And just like that, now the vehicle's running. We got it plugged in, charging off the alternator, which with this vehicle, that might require repeated uses. So, anyway, like I said, pretty good product. All right, so today we got another test that we can do with our Top Don um, car jump starter and multi purpose battery tool here. So, this should be a pretty good test today as we turn it on and hit our power button. It's kind of hard to see, but we only have one bar of power, so it'll be interesting to see if we can jump this vehicle. But anyway, like I've said, it doesn't have any surge protection. So, we see that we have the cables hooked up first so that we don't bump those and cross them, and then we'll plug it into our jump starter but first we'll hop in the vehicle and show that the car is actually dead and incapable of starting on its own okay so here we are in my mother's jeep that's had an infinite amount of recalls so we see here we let it sit on ignition try and start it completely dead so anyway and we know it's dead uh, the battery's dead, and that's the issue because if we hit our lock button and unlock, we can see that that's moving super slow, and I'm not going to do that um, too many times because then if we use the key, then the alarm goes off. Some fun stuff. So anyway, let's jump it and see how she does. All right, we got it hooked in, and now we'll just go and see if we can start the vehicle. Perfect. That's amazing. And that thing has almost no charge left. That's like the sixth or seventh car I've jumped with that. And I even don't trust it enough that I even brought jumper cables along in my F100. So, um, pretty good product thus far. I'm very impressed. It started right up and as a female, this device looks like something that a female could easily do on their own and you don't have to rely on somebody to come with jumper Alright, so as you can see, it's been a pretty decent item, and I've actually grown pretty fond of it. And I've kind of added it to my tools and list of things I bring when I'm going over the road traveling and camping. So, um, just looking over the stuff again, kind of a last look. Uh, it comes with the case, you know, the uh, car charger, the wall plug-in charger. It's got some plug-ins here where you could charge your computer, but I'd kind of stay away from stuff like that for compatibility issues unless you absolutely have to, but it does have that functionality. Again, it's got a USB port and even comes with this universal cord, which I haven't found any issues with working with any phones. It seems to work fine with my iPhone. Uh, you know, obviously your jumper cables. It's got a few nice functionality things here like this light, which I've used a lot when I'm working on cars. Pretty neat little unit here providing the light for us today. It's a Top Don car jump starter deal that I'm gonna be doing a review on here pretty soon. But it also has this hazard light, I guess, if you ever need to use it. You know, the lights have several um, functions, you know, straight and then strobe, and uh, you know, the red light does its flashing thing. But overall, it's been a pretty good unit. I'm pretty happy with it. And I definitely recommend it if you're going over the road and traveling. Another thing I want to mention about the unit is kind of with the battery life, it lasts a pretty darn long time. I've been pretty impressed with that. You can jump start quite a few cars, charge your phone up quite a few times, you know, within, within reason there. So it's definitely uh, not lackluster in that department. You wouldn't be unimpressed with 
the battery capabilities and being able to hold a charge, keep a charge. It charges up very fast on the wall, takes a little bit longer charging on the car, but if you're driving down the road, it charges up fairly quickly. So, um, you know, there's no concerns there with the battery life for sure that I've had at least. That pretty much sums up the uh, review of the little topped on car jump starter unit. I think it's $70 on Amazon and I found it to be a pretty darn neat product. So overall, I've been happy with it. What do you think, dog? And it's dog approved. Sit. Good girl.